In this video, you're going to learn about provider and how to use it in your Flutter application. I will explain it using a simple e-commerce application where you have list of products and you can add the products into cart and the number of products added to cart will be shown here. And if you click on the cart icon, you will see all the products added to cart and the total price calculated. You can also delete product from cart and it will update the total price. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn different concepts of provider and how you can use it. And this is just a simple example with two screen and if you need a more complex example using provider and flutter just comment down and if you face any problem in this video you can also mention that and i will try to respond as soon as possible or make another video on that and if you're new here consider subscribing so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future and now let's get started and see how we can use provider with flutter and create this example all right to get started first we come to the provider package and copy the latest version and paste it in our pubspake yaml right here and we can save it next in our e-commerce application we have product and list of products and also we have cart feature so for that first we're gonna have to create the models for our product and cart and then we can design our ui and the provider so in the lib i'm gonna create a new folder called models and inside here i'm gonna create product underscore model dot dart and inside the product model we're gonna have id name and price of the product and these variables will also be accepted as a parameter to this product model next i'm gonna create a model for our cart and inside our cart item model we have an instance of our product model and the quantity for the current item so i can save this next i'm gonna create a provider for the product to add some product and then use those products in our view so for that i'm gonna create a providers folder here and inside here i'm gonna create a file called so inside the product provider we have a class called product provider with change notifier this change notifier comes with the foundation package which is by default available in flutter this simply allows any change that happens in our data it will allow us to update our ui and refresh and down here i've created a list of static products which i have passed the values manually for now later on we can update it and take the values from user but for now we're gonna have these three products in our ui and then we're gonna add these products into cart and this getter is simply returning this product using this variable next i'm gonna create the cart provider also so inside my cart provider also i've created a class called cart provider with change notifier and you will see the use of change notifier fire now after adding the product to cart so here i've created a map of cart item which is our model we have our model here product and quantity this is a map of cart item so the key will be string and the value will be cart item and it will be stored in the items and this is a simple getter for this item whenever we call this item it will return us this item now let's write a function to add item to this item map so we have a function here called add to cart and for that we're gonna pass the detail of product in this case product model and this product model contains uh, id name and price which we will pass from our ui and then we will check if the id of that product is exist inside this item then we will call the update method of the map which the first parameter is key and the second is the value that we want to update so in this case if the product is already exist we find it by id and increase the quantity simply by one and otherwise if this item does not contain this product we will add it by calling put if absent method and pass the id and the product detail in the cart model so it will be added inside the items and at the end once all the condition is over we call notify listener which comes from foundation package and this will only work if we use change notifier and if we remove this change notifier from our class we will get error because this is required so calling this will refresh the ui and update any values which is changed in here and it will also be updated in our ui next let's also write a function for remove from cart so to remove product from cart we just need the product id so in this case our method gets the product id as a parameter and then here we check if the items contain this product id if it does then we simply item dot remove and that product will be removed and then we call notify listener that will update the ui and any product which is removed from this items will be removed from the ui also and finally we need a variable for total price we have products we have the price and we have to also calculate the total price of the products 
So this total price will calculate the total price of the products and return it as a double. You can see we get the items of values and this fold method will calculate the total price. The default value or initial value will be zero and then it will get the items from the card and sum it and multiply the price of the product by the quantity and then return it and assign it to this. And finally it will be returned to the total price and when we call it it will get the total price of all the items that we have so now we have two providers called product provider and card provider now we can go to our main method and here before running our application we have to initialize or specify the names of our providers so that whenever our application runs and uh, we call it in any screen the flutter application should know about it so i'm gonna clean the default flutter code from here and write my code so this is the first usage of our provider package and when we run our application we have to wrap our material app with multi-provider or simple provider. In this case, we have more than one providers, so we use multi-provider. If we have only one provider, we can simply use provider instead of multi-provider. But now we have multiple providers and then inside the providers, we pass which providers we are going to use in this application. In this case, we have the product and cart provider and we have to pass it in here. This simply creates creates an instance and pass it in our application so that we can access in any screen that we want. And finally, we have our product screen, which we have not created yet. I will copy it and create it right here. So in the lib folder for our UI screen, I'm going to create a folder called screens. Inside our build widget, we call our product provider and we pass our context. This is how we initialize our provider and access it in our UI screen. So we say provider dot off which type of provider you want to access. In this case, we want to show our product. So we pass this product provider. Now using this product provider, we get the products, which is a variable that will return all these products. Now using this, we will take the length of it and assign it to the list view and then also we can access each product one by one by passing the index and show it in the product tile down here we also have the product tile which is a simple design for each and every product this simply accepts the product model as a variable and then use that detail to show the product name product price and also on press of the button we will call the cart provider add to cart and show the snack bar so for add to cart we use the cart provider which is another provider that's why we have created an instance of that here so we have called provider dot off we pass the type of provider that we want to call now we have to create another screen for cart so for that i'm going to create another file called cart underscore screen and inside the card screen i've created the card provider instance and here we get the card items by card provider dot items dot values dot list so in this case card provider this one dot items all the items dot value which this is the key and this is the value so all the values and then dot to list so we will have list of all the card items and then each item can be accessed by index and show it inside the card item tile which is created down here we simply pass the cart item as a parameter and here also we created an instance of cart provider as we did in our product screen and down here we have the product name we have the product quantity product price and a button to remove the product from cart we pass the product id to this method that we have inside our cart method and this will remove it and notify listener that will refresh this item and it will also update our ui so our ui is is ready now let's see how we call this in our product screen we called this screen by calling slash card now we have to create this routing in our material app so for that i'm gonna go to my main.dart and here first i'm gonna import my product screen and inside the material app i'm gonna type in the routes and default route will be product screen and slash card will take us to the card screen now if i save it and run my application all right the application is running but we got some error in routing it says if the home property is specified then the route table cannot have a slash in this case we should either use home or we pass this default slash so 
can remove the home and restart our application all right now our application is running normally and we have these three products that we have added in the product provider we also have the cart button to go to our cart uh, page now we can add the product into cart it says laptop added to cart we can also add another product to cart and come to our cart page we have the laptop we have smartphone and the total price right now it says one times the price if i add laptop once more it will add it and this should be two times the price and the price is also increased if i click on delete it will delete it from the cart and we have only smartphone so this is a simple application but the point is how we use provider to refresh the screen we can do this using set state also but set state and stateful widget which comes by default in flutter that's for smaller applications like uh, if we have two or three screens but if we have bigger applications with 10 or 20 pages then in that case using set state would not be a good practice this provides a lot of flexibility you can see we can update our items just notify the listener the good point for this is it will not refresh the entire build it will only refresh the part that we are using it and that is because we have used provider dot off card provider so whatever change comes to card provider and in this widget this will only be updated and outside of this anything else in the screen will not be updated even the previous screen will not be updated so there's one more improvement that we can do here if i add a product here into cart i don't know how many product is in the cart until i open the cart and then this will call the cart provider and this card provider will check how many items do we have and if i want to get the number of items inside the card in the product page i can simply come to product screen and for this icon i will add a badge to show the number of products inside the card all right i have wrapped the icon and this badge will have a label to show the number of items inside our cart and this card comes from this consumer this consumer and provider dot off is kind of similar but the difference is we have use provider dot off and past our product provider and this context so whenever there is a change to product provider the entire build or this context will be refreshed but in this case the benefit of consumer is that we can wrap a specific widget with consumer and then use the data however we want and it will only refresh this part of the application that we wrapped with consumer in this case if we add an item to cart it will only refresh the app bar and the badge label that we have here it's not visible so i have to go to the main and uh, disable the debugging so now we have a badge here that shows the number of items we have in cart right now it's zero and if we come to the product if we add a product it will update that that number that you can see there it's updating because we're using consumer around the patch so that's it for this video and this is how we can use provider in our flutter application this was just a basic demo of provider in flutter if you want to see how we can use provider with a bigger application let me know in the comment section and i will make a tutorial for that so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video